Hey, what's going on? This is Engineer Mojo. We're back again. I'm going to show you how to format math and text within MathCAD Prime. I'm using, you can see my mouse, I'm using MathCAD Prime version 3.1. This process applies to pretty much any MathCAD Prime version as well as previous MathCAD non-prime programs. First thing you want to do typically is start a new sheet. Whenever you start a new sheet, your blue region indicator is your blue crosshair is populating the screen, the grid, and it shows you the insertion point of either your math or text region. So I'll start off by putting in a text region by clicking text box. I'll just extend this out a little bit. formatting math and text. So first off we'll start by just defining some variables. Do x semicolon 5 and then we'll do y semicolon 8. Now this tutorial assumes that you know how to assign uh, numerical values to symbolic either letters or symbols so an x plus y equals 13. So st standard text in MathCAD is going to be there if you go to math formatting. It's going to be MathCAD's Unimath prime font. So if you want to change this for whatever reason, if you have a report and you want it to match your font within your report, you just go up here, click the drop down, and choose, you know, whatever text you want. And then from here, you can also choose whether you want to be bold, italic, um, things of that nature, the color options. So that's how you change math formatting there. And also, you can change the output of your values. So um, say for this 13, you want it to show some trailing zeros. So in math formatting, you have your options of your trailing zeros, how many decimal places you want to show, and your general format that you want to have populate your answers. So when you click that one, you'll have general, decimal, scientific, or engineering, or percent. So I'll change this just to show you how you can affect your output to 5.25. And I changed this to 13.25, but I want that to just to be one decimal point. So I'll highlight that region. I'll go to the display precision. And I'll go to one decimal and it'll automatically round up um, to one decimal place. So you can play with this, you know, put in different um, you know, try different ways to manipulate either math or let's say you want to manipulate your text, you just go to text formatting. And you can do the same thing. You can manipulate the colors. And as you see, whatever word that your cursor is on, that's the one that gets changed. So you can affect just individual words. Uh, you can do highlighting individual words as well. And you can play around with this, play around with the math formatting, and play around with the text formatting. And these are good tools to use when you're either building a sheet, you can assign different variables, different colors to easily pick out a variable within your calculations. Or if you want to make your report look nice, you can, you know, make that look a little more spiffy. And as usual, I like to keep these tutorials pretty short because I don't like bogging people down with 20, 30 minute tutorials. So if you have any questions, please comment down below. If you like this, please like it, please share. And as always, keep just exploring MathCAD. It's a very, very powerful program. 
and it's very useful. Please be on the lookout for my other tutorials as we get deeper into what MathCAD can do. Thank you.